again. Here's another Craftsman USA tool haul, this time from the Court Street Jewelry and Loan Pawn Shop in Riverside, California. Found lots of good things here. Some nice wrenches, really nice set of wrenches. Some really oddball things, contraptions that just interesting, bent up wrenches, you know. Love these kinds of things that just have a story behind them. But we'll get into those dirty details right after this. All right, let's jump right in to a Craftsman half inch drive slide bar handle, 15 inches. This one has the pointed A logo, right? It's got the V stamp, so more drop forge made this somewhere between 1945 and 1970. Pretty beat up, as you could see. Either was banged on or used with some extra leverage. Gotta, gotta have that extra leverage sometimes, right? But uh, this end, let's see, this end's a little bit bent up. You can see a little, little bend at the end there. The other side, though, has a nice tweaked end to it. So I'll put this in the pile with the other one that's even more bent up and, and restore them together. Should be fun, but nice tool overall. Next up we have a nice set of adjustable wrenches. So we have the 10, 8, 4, and 6 inch. Really nice set. All with uh, WF stamps. So Western Forge made these. This 10 inch one is probably has the most surface rust on it. It's easy to clean up, but this one has the QA stamp right there. WF for Western Forge on the other side, 944604, 250 millimeters, a little bit of paint, a little bit of surface rust, jaws are in pretty good shape, a little bit beat up there on one, not too bad, nice beefy wrench though. 8 inch version has, is in a little bit of a better shape, so got the PR stamp right there. WF on the other side, 944603, 200 millimeters, little surface rust that'll come right off, but the jaws look like they were never used. Perfect condition. Really nice wrench. Six inch up next, little surface rust again, QF stamp, WF on the back, 944602. 150 millimeters, a little bit of rust, a little bit of a nick in one of the jaws there. Otherwise in really good shape. That'll clean up nicely. And then the four inch, of course, or 100 millimeter. It's got the HK stamp right there. The WF on the back, 944601. And a little bit of surface rust, all really good, really good shape. So all these are beyond uh, 1984, so mid 80s or higher, probably in the 90s somewhere. But uh, really good set of wrenches. I'm really happy I picked these up for a good price. Next up is a half inch by nine sixteenths inch flat ratchet box end wrench. This one's got the crown logo, which uh, you don't see many hand tools with the crown logo on there. So I'm really happy with this. Such a cool logo. And it says on or no, depending on which way you handle it. <laughs> it's got the circle I stamp there, uh, which means Parker Manufacturing Company made this. And Parker was making tools for craftsmen between 1962 and 1986. So this is somewhere in there, but uh, it's really cool 
I'm really glad I have this one. Next up, I have a half inch by 9 16 open end tap it wrench. Not too old, maybe the mid 80s due to that logo. This side's in decent shape, nice and thin, right? The other side though, all beat up, bent of course, but uh, I don't know what it is about these wrenches. I have a hard time passing them up. I either feel really sorry for them or just think that they tell an interesting story. Starting to get a nice little collection of, of let's say, uh, customized tools like this, but just love them, you know? You just gotta do what you gotta do to get the job done, right? Next up, we have an 11 16 by 19 30 seconds open end wrench. Uh, another one, right? I have a couple of these. This one is V stamp. Zoom in and you can see the engraving here by Larry D, I think. Nice little owner's mark there. No big deal. But let me show you my other ones. Same exact wrench. Right, same time period, same, pretty much the same logo on all three. Subtle, real subtle differences. And when you flip them over, you'll see that they're all with the V stamp. So more drop forwards made all these. The one in the middle there is the one that has the missing dot in the USA, which is really interesting. But these are all very, very similar. Let me show you few little differences. So if you look at the logo really closely, you can see the S is a little bit different in that middle one. The A is a little more spread out in the bottom one. But I think what happened was I think this one I just got on the top was made in between these two. I'll show you the progression. So if you look at uh, the heads on these two, the early one on the bottom, the middle one on top, you can see that the early one was a little wider on the head. It's real subtle. Um, oh, the, the handles are, the, the early one had a thinner and narrower handle. And then if you look at the, the later one on top, it has the same exact head, right? Same thickness, same handle, but the one on top has a much thicker raised panel. Real subtle differences. And I think more drop forge was just progressing and uh, made little differences, little, little upgrades in between each one. Or I could just be blowing smoke, I have no idea. Next up, we have a 3 8 by 7 16 box and wrench. Pretty old. I think this one is between 1944 and 1948. Has the V stamp with single lines. No part number. Really good shape. But it's got that older style logo. I have a similar wrench, but open end. Same sizes, 3 8 by 7 16. Uh, it's got the, the single line next to the logo because they put the sizes on the heads for open end wrenches. On the back, there's no V stamp, so not sure who made this one. I think it was one of the earlier, more drop forge tools. Not sure though, but I'm sure some of you guys would be glad to help me out with those little details. Next, we have a 3 16 inch nut driver. I don't know why I grabbed this. I already have one, probably two that are in better shape than this. This one's pretty beat up, but uh, you know, it's made in the USA, so it's hard to pass up. And now we have another modified tool. This is a T10 by three inch Torx screwdriver. Uh, with probably the crappiest modified job I've ever seen. I have no idea why they did this, but originally it's T10. 
KWF puts it around 1996, not too old. Uh, <laughs> electrical tape to attach this little guy on there. The T10 is all jacked up, so they probably just needed to use the handle for this T25. I guess, I don't know. Maybe they needed it to be magnetic, which, which this one is. But uh, it just cracked me up. I, I had to have it. Let's just see what's underneath, shall we? nice beat up crappy tool so <laughs> i don't know maybe i'll just wait until i can bring it back for a replacement hopefully when they replace them with usa made tools so i'll just hold on to that and then we have another phillips screwdriver i have so many of these and this one's Probably the worst one yet. Look how rusty that is. I don't know. Okay, number one. JWF puts it around 1995, mid-90s. Totally rusted to the core. I mean, the rest of this will come right off and clean up. It's in decent shape. Nice yellow tone to it. I just can't pass these up. I don't know. usually go through my sockets real quick, but I found some pretty interesting ones. Here's a nice half inch drive, one inch, 12 point socket, V-stamp. I already have one, but I have a, and this one's a little beat up. Just have a hard time passing up V-stamp sockets. My favorite in my collection are the BE stamps. These ones are super old, but I have a nice collection of half inch sockets from this time period. And then those are my, my go-tos. I'll probably put this one in my son's toolbox if he doesn't have one already. Then we have a half inch drive, 3 16 12 point deep socket. Again, V-stamp, hard to pass up. Pretty rusty, some name on it, hard to see. Maybe Bob but super thin wall. Look at how thin that wall is. You don't see that too often. Here's another VV stamp, same size. But here you can see a, a difference in the thickness or, or thinness of this new one that I got. Just right for that super tight space that you gotta get into. That's good to have. And here you can really see the difference in the thickness. A couple millimeters, maybe. And then I have a half inch drive, 18 millimeter, 12 point socket. This one has the upside down G1. It's a little bit later. I already have one that is an upside down G2. Pretty much the same exact socket. The only real difference that I can see is on the back side. The one on the left has that little groove for the ball on your ratchet wrench, just to make it a little bit easier to take on and off. So I'll probably keep that one. And then I have Another 18 millimeter socket. This one is three eighths, but this one's an upside down G2 as well, but only six points. I have another one, of course, in my collection, 18 millimeter, but this one is an upside down G. So you can see the G2 has those little grooves, kind of liking that. 
you know, not bad for modern upgrades. I'll probably keep those G2s. I also found a 15 millimeter half inch drive of this style with the EE stamp. It's kind of like half rough, half smooth, not bad of shape. I think it'll easily replace this guy, this 15 millimeter piece of crap that I have. G stamp with this chrome plating on it that it's basically peeling off. You can see how crappy that is. On the back side, I can almost tear it off. It's it's so flimsy. I can't believe they they stooped this low <laughs> at this time when they were doing this. But uh, this is this would be glad. I'd be glad to get rid of that. I have another 14 millimeter one of the same style that. You can see how well these clean up. So kind of liking these. All right, well, that's it for this tool haul. As always, thank you so much for watching. I can't believe you stuck in for this long. I'm shocked, but if you, if you did, just consider giving it the old thumbs up, share it, if uh, you know any of your goofy friends might enjoy something like this, subscribe, the whole thing. Don't forget to check out toolsandtees.com where you can find not really these tools, but other vintage tools for sale and all kinds of good stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching. Later. Mm -hmm.